All right, so we're here in the, uh, we'll call it the, uh, the new lab here. I had an idea, and what I wanted to do was set up a motion sensor that when triggered, it would turn on a house light. Um, I'm sure we've already seen that I know how to turn on one of uh, these little LEDs, but that's not what I want. I want an actual light plugged into a uh, socket to turn on, give the uh, illusion that maybe someone's home, you know? So if somebody's trying to break in or something, light turns on, looks like someone's home, maybe they, they won't. Um, so what I had to do was, I'm using one of these deals here you can get at uh, Wally World or wherever. Um, this is a remote control um, outlet controlled by this guy here. What we did was through some funny numbering and such and reading wave forms, figured out from this transmitter by pushing the button here, I pulled the waveform and then I was able to do all this stuff here, which I'll, maybe I'll talk about another time to get the code to transmit to the outlet to turn it on and off. And we're doing that here with this uh, RF transmitter, which you can see here, and this is all plugged into a Raspberry Pi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this motion sensor here, this PIR sensor, to trigger the transmitter to send the signal over to here to turn on the light that is right here and on top of that I decided to go a little further and set up a website here um, just on a local server which is actually on the Pi 2 uh, as well and this will spit out the uh, timestamp of when motion was detected out here in the uh, garage so, what I've got is a Python script here. Um, I'm going to focus on this camera, it's not very good. But, uh, Python script, I'm going to hit enter and run it. And as soon as it says it's ready, there it's ready. As soon as it senses motion, there it is. Light turned on. Now I've got it on a timer to turn off in a couple of seconds. There it goes. And it's going to turn on every time I move and turn off in a couple of seconds. And you'll see over here, um, well, in poor focus, but it's actually saying motion was detected in the garage at such and such time. Yeah, it's hard to see. Oh, there we go. So that's it. Um, maybe when I work out some kinks and get a better idea of what I'm doing, I will uh, make a tutorial on this. But uh, it's, it's fairly simple and, and pretty inexpensive. I mean, the Raspberry Pi um, might be the most expensive part, and that's only 35 bucks. Then you've got these sensors here, a couple bucks on eBay. The transmitter and receiver, a couple bucks on eBay. Um, this expansion board is not necessary. Um, just makes things easier to uh, plug into the breadboard here. And then the... Uh, this guy here, which I think I got at, at uh, Walmart, maybe, I'm not sure, but uh, I think this was 20 bucks, and, and you actually get three of these, um, all on their own uh, kind of channel. So if I wanted to, I can run the numbers here and get the uh, control for each one of the outlets, so I could turn on multiple items um, at will. But you see it's still, it's still going, and... Uh, my computer turned off here, and if we go over here, we'll see it has added a little bunch more. So I've got this on a refresh of a couple of seconds, so it keeps adding the times to the top there. So uh, that's that. Sorry about the focus. I'm using my phone, um, but uh, thought maybe you guys would enjoy that.